I'm talking with Angus Nisbet from uh, Mechabingo.com, where he's responsible, responsible for branding and strategy. And um, you're talking with us today about how um, social is changing the, the whole gaming sector. Could yeah. you tell us more about that? Yeah, of course. Um, so I work in a traditionally UK-based gambling sector. Um, and we're heavily regulated, we have uh, age checks and age verification and uh, we operate within the UK territories. Um, the social space creates a lot of opportunity for, for what's cleverly called gaming rather than gambling. Um, for games that tend to be free to play, um, but with a, with a monetization mechanic that kicks in later in the, in the, in the player journey. Um, a typical social gamer is is 45 year old female uh, which is exactly the same as a typical bingo player so there's obviously parallels in terms of in terms of customers um, we know that our customers uh, more more we have more of our customers on Facebook than we do on mechabingo.com for example from our for our retail customers so uh, just for the UK customers there's a massive opportunity for for brand diversification, let alone what's happening globally. Talking before about the, um, the the sort of the opportunity that might exist with sort of these Facebook games, yeah. where people are playing, but they're not actually winning anything. Yeah. But you're yeah. saying behind that, there's potentially a lot of revenue that that Absolutely. can be so, I mean, come out there's, of there's it. If you if, if you look at um, uh, if you take a casino, a social casino site, which is called Double Down. This is a business that's just been bought um, by an American gaming company for half a, half a billion dollars, I beg your pardon, $500 million. Um, that business made $10 million in revenue last year as a social casino, which uh, if it was on the Vegas Strip, it would be the most profitable casino on the Vegas Strip. Um, you can't, as a customer of Double Down Casino, you cannot win any real money. There's no real prizes. So it's all for, um, for status, if you like. And I think f for us as a traditional gaming operator, that's fascinating because we've always thought that casino is about the buzz and about the winning and about the joy of winning and the fact you can go in pretty much penniless and come out as a millionaire to, to, to extend the point is, is, is maybe this isn't right. Maybe it's more about the social experience and the entertainment and sharing with your friends and it's not about winning. Um, and if that's true, that opens up a whole new can of worms that we need to look into.